Excellency President Nana Adulangwa Akufuado. Of our economy. And so, we will celebrate today the 
Now we stand together as witnesses to the fulfillment of that promise. This block is a symbol of hope, proof of the resilience and determination of our people, and a concrete manifestation of what we can achieve when we work together for a common good. It will create jobs, empower our domestic economy, and revitalize the lives of the fisher folk and traders of Jamestown. We will inject new energy into the heart of this community. And I have no doubt that its benefits will ripple across the nation. In May of last year, I inaugurated the state of the art Armina Fishing Harbor. Another promise fulfilled. Despite the naysayers and those who doubted our resolve, we delivered. Just as Armina now thrives with increased fishing activity, so too will Jamestown become a hub of economic activity, growth, and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, projects like these are not mere monuments to progress. They are vital lifelines, means to social economic empowerment, avenues for job creation and stepping stones to improve livelihoods. The Kufuano government understands the power of infrastructure. We understand that agriculture and fishing are the backbone of our economy. The power to fuel industrialization, eradicate poverty, and elevate the lives of millions of Ghanaians. Today, some 2.6 million citizens rely on the fishery sector for their livelihood. In 2020 alone, this sector contributed some 263.2 million United States dollars to our nation's GDP. These numbers represent the hard work of men and women whose hands feed our nation. It is for them, for you, that we continue to invest in superior infrastructure, improve storage, and advance handling practices to reduce post catch losses, improve fish catches, and ultimately reduce our independence, our dependence on imported fish. During the construction of this project, some 500 direct jobs were created with the potential for many more as the port becomes fully operational. The modern onshore facilities provided here will enhance the quality of fish handling and storage. I'm happy to list them. An administrative building, a 200 capacity fish market, market store, an ice making plant with a capacity of 60 tons per day, a coal store with a capacity of 200 tons, a repair workshop, a daycare center, and police and fire stations. These are not just buildings, they are investments in the future of this community. Take, for instance, the inclusion of daycare centers designed to allow our high working mothers to train with peace of mind, knowing their children are safe and cared for. This is governance with compassion. This is governance that empowers our women, strengthens our families, and builds a stronger, more resilient Ghana. I extend my people's gratitude the overlord of the Gan state, the Gan Manche, Nime, Name, and the whole Jamestown community. Your faith in my government has been inflation, and I thank you for standing with us as we work to make this dream a reality. Nigan's personal commitment to this project 
along with his visits to monitor his progress, exemplifies true traditional leadership. And I congratulate you, Nina, on this. Finally, the government and the people of the Republic of Ghana extend our warm appreciation to His Excellency President Xi Jinping, the government and the people of the People's Republic of China for the continued growth of strong relations between our two countries and for their great contribution to this significant infrastructure development. Indeed, I had the good fortune last week in Beijing to have had the honor and opportunity to meet with President Xi at a fruitful bilateral meeting as part of the ninth Fokal Summit. I must also commend Ghana's former ambassador to China, Ambassador Edward Guati, for the yeoman's job he did in helping to bring this project to fruition. To the board, to Ghana under the sagacious chairmanship of former High Commissioner Isaac Hussein, the other directors and managers of the Ghana Parks and Harbors Authority, and to the Shinas China Railway Corporation Company, Engineering Bureau, I salute you for your excellent work. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a day of celebration. It is a day when we look at the future with confidence, knowing that we are building a Ghana that works for everyone. Ghana of peace, progress, and prosperity. Together, let us continue to rise. And now, I invite the government and the ministers of state to join me as we commission this project for the good of Jamestown, English. Good of our country and for the good of our beloved nation. And one in care, Jim. You are for me, you are swallowed up. You call it one for who you hate it, Jesus. You want to be a friend. You say you'll be a friend. Take your beer. Before I finish, I want to introduce the next member of parliament for Ododobiotio. The candidate of the ruling new patriotic party.